Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to a, another cold morning. It's cold out. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty freaking cold. That's all I have to say. We are officially in fall, and I'm excited because that means the panfish, the white bass, the walleyes are gonna start feeding, right? But today, you guys see in our last video, I did some pan fishing. It was not planted, it just came out here just because we caught a lot of good bluegills. So today I'm a little more prepared. Hopefully the fish are cooperative and they bite, right? Hopefully they bite today. And I don't have much to say other than we're already out on the water. We're gonna figure something out. And we're gonna go ahead and put the beat down on these fish. So with that being said, stay tuned. Let's make it happen. All right, everyone, we made it. And uh, we're gonna start off with what, man, what do I want to start off? I guess to start off with the plastic. Let me put this drop shot away because I don't think I'll be doing drop shot yet. I have a jig head for casting plastic. I got another jig head casting plastic. We're gonna go with this guy. Let's drop plastic down first to see if there's any crappies that are willing to react to the plastic here. Oh, just got a bite. I just had a bite. Shoot. Dude, that was so subtle. Got him. It's a crappie. Yeah. Let's, dude, that's a nice crappie. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, I'm keeping some. You guys know it. Dude, that's awesome. I got this widow maker tungsten gold jig head with a Bobby Garland. And there we are. Nice crappie for meal. Start up the live well, guys. I'm using three pound tests. This is my Pissafun 500. Okay. Basically, going to be my future ice reel. Ultralight panfish rod from TFO. My favorite setup for. Panfish right here. Oh, dude, just had a hit on the bottom. What the heck? Oh, bro, what the heck? That's fast. Got him, got him. It's an, oh my god, it's another copy, dude. Dude, I need to get the net. I need to get the net, dude. It's big stone when it popped off. Damn. Dude, that's a big crappie. Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's a good crappie, dude. Dude, what? Oh, dude, just missed on. Just freaking missed on. I need to get the net out. Got him. Smaller guy. It's a bluegill. We'll let the bluegills go. We just want the crappie. Dude, that's crazy, man. That's insane. Dude, this is so cool, man. What the heck? Just vertical jigging for crappies in 13 and 15 feet water, actually. Oh, dude, just missed him again. Small guy. There we go. There we go. That's another nice one. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a nice fish. It's a bluegill. It's a big bluegill. Oh my god, look how big these things are. Yeah, I guess I want to break my rod tip here. Watch my rod. Dude, that thing's huge. Oh my gosh. That's a good bluegill that's gonna go back. That's a nine inch right there, watch. Yep, nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter. We're gonna let it go. Oh no, my plastic. Get back, economy's low right now. There it goes, see you later. Guys, this is so much fun, like, this is just like ice fishing. 
I'm jigging it higher to see if there's a big one that comes out. But I could be wrong. It might be still down deep, you know. There we go. Dude, they fight so hard. It's a bluegill. It's running a circle. Yep, it's a bluegill. Big bluegill. Okay, this is what I'm using, okay? Bobby Garland. These are those little ones. These are the itty bit swimmer. That's what it is. So again guys, I'm using this widow maker. I think this is a four millimeter, right? And this is a Bobby Garland swimmer. 80 bit swimmer. What I'm doing is I'm finding these they look like structure almost, but they could be cribs too. Either way, the structures for these fish to hang out on uh, from bigger fish. And I'm going right on top of it. It is very snaggy because I can feel my line rubbing on the wood or whatever it is. And I do have to be careful because this is only three pound test. The reason why I'm using three pound test is because it drops down a lot faster when I mark the fish and get it right to their head. Like I said, the only downfall is that if they bite you and they wrap down there, then you're done for, right? You have no escape. <laughs> you got three pound test, so I don't know how you're going to get it out. But the idea is to hook them and get them out of there as soon as possible. And then, you know, fight them above, like higher from the structure. So that's what I'm doing. I got two crappies, a few bluegills. I'll probably not show. I just want the big ones, you know, to show you guys. So you just got to find a sweet spot where these crappies are. And then, there we go. On oh, the fall. That's a crappie. Yep, that's a crappie. Oh my gosh, huge, dude. Good crappie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I ain't got no net. I can't lift this one up. Oh my gosh, dude. I could not lift this one up. No way. Three pound test. That's a slab, dude. That's a freaking slab. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It feels so good to see you guys again. Dude, look how big that thing is. It's not a like giant, but it's good for where I'm fishing. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Look at this. That's insane. Oh my gosh. That feels so good, guys. It's so good. Dude, as soon as I dropped it, that's another slap. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're so freaking aggressive. Oh, as soon as I dropped my rod tip, dude, I got grabbed, bro. Oh my gosh, it's huge, dude. What the heck? Man. This is so much fun. It's another 11. <laughs> Look at that, dude. How do you say no to this? It's crazy. As soon as I dropped it back down there. There we go. That's a bluegill. Oh my gosh, dude. What is that? That's a bluegill. Dude, it's a massive bluegill. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous, dude. Look how big that freaking bluegill is. <laughs> oh my god. 
goodness, bro. I'm not even targeting you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so massive, dude. Oh, oh geez, geez, relax, relax. Dude, you're freaking huge. Oh my goodness. Why are you guys so big, bro? Look at this thing. It's not a 10, but it's a nine and a half. Now nine and a half is right here. Let me see that. It's past nine and a half by a hair. But it's so freaking tall, man. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. <laughs> All right, catch and release. I don't even know what to say right now. This fish is so big. Just straighten out my line real quick. Just cast it out there. It's just good to straighten it out so it doesn't coil up so much, you know, when you drop it. It's just better that way. It's like I know they're in there. Eventually one will fly up and grab it, you know. They're just very lethargic. Very picky, if you guys don't know what that means. And all I'm using is down imaging, guys. I don't have live scope. I'm just staying on this structure, right? And I'm just vertical jigging right on top of it. That's it. So my guess is as good as yours, right? <laughs> Don't think that. I got because of technology, I'm catching them. There we go, on the drop. Oh my gosh, dude, that's another good fish. It's a bluegill, big bluegill. <laughs> Unfreaking freaking believable, guys. All right, guys, so let me talk to you guys here really quick of what I got going on and my setup and everything, okay? Here, I have basically, not all, but the four of my main ultralight light action rods. These are my Pissafun Carbon X2, 1,000, 1,000, 500, and 500, okay? Sorry, my finger probably took the focus off of it, but I'll show you guys. So again, this is my Carbon X2, 1,000, 1,000, 500, and 500. The 500 are on the ultralight rods. Those are my TFO panfish rods, trout rods, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, but they're great for offshore, I mean, inshore too, but you know, I use them for offshore fishing for crappies and bluegills. All of these just pull up in four pound test besides that one. The last one is three pound test. Wait, no, this one is a three pound test, the one I've been using. These two, I spoil a four pound test. Four pound mono, that chartreuse, that way I can see where I'm casting and swimming a small swim bait or something like that, you know, you can see your line, like how far you cast and control it and drift it, whatever, right? It definitely plays an important role when you're fishing, like with these chartreuse line, you can see what you're doing out there. And you can see when the fish actually hits it, like crappies, they'll slack it and you can tell when they're on. That's why I have that chartreuse on that light action rod. All of these rods serve a purpose. Overall, these are my setup that I have on deck always when I'm pan fishing. So I do recommend you guys to check it out on pissfun.com and um, the link will be down below. So, yeah. I was just about to drive around and I found one not too far from where I was fishing. Right here. And it's not windy out. Here we go, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this, guys? I think it's a bluegill, big bluegill. Oh my, dude, it's a big bluegill. It's another giant. Oh my gosh, bro. This is the biggest one yet. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. Oh my gosh, that's a 10. It's a freaking 10, dude. Oh my gosh. Goodness, dude, I think that's a 10. Hold on, guys. Oh my goodness, I was not prepared for this, dude. That's stupid. I think it's a 10. Hold on, so 95 ace. I think, wow, dude, almost a 10. Look how big 
the fact that it's so tall. Oh my goodness. Guys, this bluegill is absolutely ginormous. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. This is really freaking big. I should say really tall. Look how tall that thing is. Wow. Just an absolute be- I can't even hold it right, dude. Gorgeous fish. Holy cow. Man. See ya, buddy. Whew. That's crazy. I was like freaking out. That was a freaking 10. Unfreaking believable. There we go. Dude, it's another. Oh my. Dude, it's another giant. Oh my gosh. Dude, don't fight so hard. This is another giant. It's another giant. Oh, dude. It's not as big as the other one, but still. I don't know what to do right now. Dude, look at this. Like, you gotta net these. They're so freaking thick. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Oh my goodness. That's another nine. Unfreaking believable, man. Whew. This is insane. Damn, I just got one, guys. I was not recording. That's another. Oh my gosh, dude. That one is huge, bro. They're so tall. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> dude, this is so stupid. <laughs> insane this one might even be longer dude oh my gosh guys what the hell is going on today dude just a hair from 10 look a hair from 10 with tail folded oh my gosh dude the sun's up and now these bluegills are just going ham all right guys look at that a hair shot from 10 inches dude sheesh Catch and release. Let the big ones go. All right, let's finish strong. Let's see if the crappies are here. There we go. There we go. What is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, it's a big gill, that's what it is. Jeez. That's another tank. Oh my gosh, this guy's long as heck. Bro. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Dude, why are you guys so freaking huge? Oh my gosh. Goodness. Oh my. Dude, look. 10 inches. <laughs> yes. Yes, we got a 10 incher, guys. Oh, Jesus, stop, stop. It's just so freaking long, dude. Look at this. Yup. Right at the 10 inch mark. Right at the 10 inch mark. Like touching it, just a hair. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. That's insane. Big ones go. Special to this big. Wow. Yes. There we go. There we go. Finally a respectable one. Yep, that's a big bluegill. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Thank you for finishing this off. Jeez, look at that ear on. Oh, geez. they're so ah, they're so feisty too. Man, I love you, bluegills. Look at the ear on that thing. All right, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys back at the car. I'm in my car now, and that was cool. We caught a lot of great panfish, quality panfish just off of that ice jig that wouldn't make ice jig caught some on red worms too but that ice jig that gold tungsten ice jig four millimeter 
to 5 millimeter and drinking plastic for crappies first thing in the morning and it did slow down to a bluegill bite which is fine we caught that nice 10 inches so i'm really really happy with that we caught that so short outro here if you guys like this stuff make sure you guys like comment and subscribe we're gonna do it again stay tuned see you guys next time